Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I am Madden Gaming and I am back with another reaction video. Today's video we got massive roster update for Madden 24. Once again guys, a massive update, roster update excuse me. Can't wait to see what this massive uh, roster update is. Um, Before I put this reaction, I need you guys to like this video right now. Subscribe to your boy if you want more reactions just like this one. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. It's time for another Madden 24 weekly update. We got a little bit of news from EA yesterday we got a few things to talk about and then of course we're going to talk about the big roster update of this week and there's a ton of player movement this week and even a new 99 overall now if you missed yesterday's video where i talked about the upcoming title update which is next week ea officially announced that they have got the fix in place for the draft class bug where the custom draft classes were all messed up or you couldn't edit the players all of that is fixed and is rolling out with the next title update which should be in a few days also if you didn't know they did did officially release the companion app a few days ago as well i know a lot of people were waiting on that if you have been waiting on it you might they released the app i'm not gonna I, I heard i heard a lot of people was waiting for the companion app i heard uh i wonder what it looks like now i've never really got let's see have i i've never really even saw the companion app to be honest with you so be interested to see what it looks like might already know about it but just in case you didn't know it is officially released and they actually redid the whole thing i definitely heard some people had some issues with it there were some things that were a little buggy so i don't know if they're working through those issues but they completely redid the companion app so i don't really ever use it myself so i don't know if it's actually better oh that's good let me know below but let's get into this week's big roster update there's a ton of player movement we've got a new 99 overall finally after all these years tyree kill going up plus one to a 99 overall I wow a while back he's been one of the best players in the league for some time now but that's facts never he finally officially joins that man congratulations tyree kill man shout out to him and the guy right behind him is probably going to hit 99 overall within a few weeks as well. And that is Michael Parsons, who is going up plus one to a 98 overall. He's going to be one of the yeah, fastest he, players ever he to been, get to 99. He's just been a he's been wrecking havoc coming into the league. He's had a great start to the season. It'll be another week, two, maybe three at most. And he's going to probably be up in that 99 club as well. We've got TJ Watt going up plus one to a 96 overall. A guy that's never been 99 for some reason, despite being so good for what? so long. Maybe this year he finally gets it. Another guy who's never been 99 for some reason. He's in Derrick Henry going up plus one to a 95. Ah, so he's, he's never been 99 so overall, man. Maybe he'll finally That's hit that crazy. The year as well. We've got the cover boy, Josh Allen. He went down last week after a rough start, but he's bouncing back up this week. Plus one to a 94 overall. Roquan Smith is also going up plus one to a 94. Terry McLaurin's going up plus one to a 93 overall. CD Lamb is going up plus two to a 92 overall. He's had a great start to the season. Demarcus Lawrence is going up plus one to a 92 overall. And Marshawn Lattimore is also going up plus one to a 92. We've got Tyron Smith going up plus three to a 92 overall. He's back in elite Damn. form this year. Plus looking good. three? We've got Mike Evans going up plus one to a 91 Mike Evans been looking really, season. really good. TJ Hawkinson also going up plus one to a 91. We've got Matthew Judon going up plus one to a 90 overall. Yeah, Trey that Patriot. To 89 overall, and that's gonna unfortunately be the last time. He yeah, goes up this year because he just tore his ACL, which is super unfortunate. Hold on, when I when I saw that, at first I had to make sure I read it right, cause you know how sometimes you just go past stuff. I had to make sure I read it right, man. Shout out to Trayvon Diggs. Is, wait, that's his name, right? Shout yeah, shout out to him and um, fantastic uh, p uh young player. Uh, hopefully you get back healthy soon. Uh, I'm rooting for you, even though I'm not a Cowboys fan. You know I don't want to see anybody get hurt, especially a season-ending uh, injury like that. I think it was. A, I think they said it was an ACL, if I'm not mistaken, during practice. So shout out to him, man. Dallas looking like one of the favorites in the NFC, and that is a big loss. Okay, okay, we can stop that one. Okay. Overall, Devontae Smith and Matt Milano were also going. Who has it been? Three games, two games. Is going up plus one to eighty. Damn Cowboy fans. Chris Olave is going up plus one to an 86 overall. Alex Highsmith is going up plus three to an 86. Josh Sweat's going up plus one to an 85 overall. Xavier Howard's also going up plus one to an 85. Deron Payne is going up plus one to an 84 overall. 
Bijan Robinson looking great as a rookie so far. He's going Oh yeah, he looking like he could be DeAndre Swift is also going up plus He looking like he could be rookie of the year maybe. Malik Hooker is going up. I know it's early but he he looking really well. And Rasul Douglas are also going up plus 1 to 83. Brian Robinson Jr is going up plus 3 to 82 overall after one of his best performances. Grant Delpit's going up plus 2 to 82. He had a fantastic start to the season. Yes sir. Pickens is going up plus 1 to 81 overall and we've also got a few other guys going up plus one to an 81 overall isaiah pacheco ramondre stevenson shaquille barrett trent mcduffie and the rookie zay flowers drake london's going up plus one to an 80 overall and we've got another handful of guys going up plus one to an 80 jalen thompson jordan davis quay walker and raheem mostert we've got the rookie christian gonzalez who had a phenomenal week two he's going up plus two to a 79 overall david anyamata is also going up plus two to a 79 james cook is going up plus two to a 78 overall matthew stafford's going up plus one to a 78 overall Pete Werner also going up plus one. I still have not watched a Rams Brock game yet. Purdy, Jordan Addison, and Dalton Kincaid going up plus one to a 78 overall. So well, Purdy, well, I ain't gonna lie, what San Francisco did season. last night. Anderson's going up plus two to a 78 That was a massacre. And we got my guy, Rashid Shahid. He's had some really good plays so far this season. Made two really big clutch plays both weeks. He's going up plus one to a 76 overall good to see him get some love hey really quickly i want to let you guys know about today's video sponsor underdog fantasy they're the best fantasy app out there but my favorite thing about their app is their pick em game which i love to tend to get higher than 0.5 yards and whenever you sign up if it's sunday if it's monday if it's next week there will always be a new player free pick at sign up and the deposit going down one to a 94 overall josh jacobs having a rough start to the year unlike how his last year went he's also going down one to a 94 joe burrow also having a rough start to the year but he's yeah not really he's going down one to a 93 overall and you Thomas could you could definitely tell joe burrow is not fully overall. healthy tristan worfs is also going down one to a 91 amari Cooper Cooper's going down one to a 90 overall. I think I think it's in his head. I'm gonna be honest with you. Overall. I don't really feel like his start of the season's been that bad. Maybe Dingham won. He's not quite the guy he was a couple years ago, but I don't think it's been that bad. Levante David and Stephon Gilmore are also going down one to a 90 overall. Harrison Smith's going down one to a 89 overall. Dallas Goddard's going down one to a 88 overall. Brian Burns is going down one to an 87 overall. Nick Bolton is going down one to an 86 overall. Chris Godwin's going down one to an 85 overall. Calais Campbell's going down one to an 84 overall. Khalil Mack is also going down one to an 84. Damian Pierce is going down one to an 82 overall. Javante Williams is going down one to an 81 overall. Randy Gregory is going down two to an 81 overall. Damn. Darnell Mooney is going down one to an 80 overall. Harold Landry also going down one to an 80. Ezekiel Elliott goes down again, minus two to an 80 overall. Man, I don't want to talk Westbrook about them Z. Vikings is going down two to a 79 overall. And Jason Myers, after missing some kicks, is going down two to a 78 overall. We've got McCole Hartman Jr. going down one to a 78 overall. Mike McGlinchey is also going down one to Ooh. a 78. We've Mike got BJ McGinty. Hill going down two to a 77 overall. We've got Derek Carr also going down one to a 77 overall. I feel like he's been playing okay, but but he really just he, hasn't been putting up enough numbers. Yeah, he hasn't been putting up the numbers. He's played. Really he's been solid. Basically, his career, to be honest with you, he's a solid quarterback. He's a solid starter and quarterback. Damian Harris is also going down one to a 76. I'm kind of surprised. I thought the Bills would get a little bit more out of him because James Cook's been solid, but I thought they would actually get a little bit more out of Damian Harris because he looked good for the Patriots, but... I don't know. Like, they haven't used him a whole lot, but even when they have, he hasn't looked that great. So I'm actually a little surprised. Damn it. That's where he went to. As far as the overalls and uh, people going down and up, I mean, I, hey, I agree. It's a, It was a lot of names. I didn't see everybody, of course. But I do want to talk about the Joe Burrow. You can definitely tell it's probably in his head a little bit with that injury because, like, he's not able to scramble like he wants to. Of course, the injury is causing that, but you can tell he's kind of timid, you know? But I, I feel like, you know, he has start, he started to get back to what we know Joe Burrow to be and the Bengals their offense as a result of that was starts looking like a Bengals like the Bengals offense we've seen since Joe Burrow pretty much got there before even before his season injury you gotta remember he was he was probably gonna be rookie of the year a lot of people forget about that like he was before Jamar Chase came he was probably gonna be rookie of the year so hopefully hopefully uh Joe Burrow can you know do big things like we know he can hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction I love racing with you guys I'll see you guys in the next one